place to his lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh... Oh! So you remember what's owed to you, then? Get your ass behind that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. <laughs> right away. I've seen that before. This is rude. He died. Back in the day, I was a person who passes to I forget where. I sat out drinking all of my wine. My bones not long after that. He said, stay close. There was a magic work and something, and there was no hide in his neck. Of course. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is this scene so long?
first night. But I said it was right. Without you, you'll be lost. You should probably well said so then. Just once. It was never just me keeping the hide away through. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. They never seemed to be able to do that. Before you go, Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. We'll see if I can't pay you back. Dude, why did that scene have to be so damn long? I mean, welcome back. This is going to be just a continuation of the last episode. If I knew the cutscene was going to be that long, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus. Well, this is just going to be a shorter episode. Because it has to be. You know? Oh, what is it? Get cart? What? Oh, that's part of like the new area, isn't it? That's the thing. By the way, where the fuck is that though? Stupid little flame guy. Of course. Don't even take me to it. Sam Breek, the croc. Isn't this Sam Breek? Yeah. It just says the croc. I don't know what the croc would be. Because this is that area. Um, I guess while I'm here, just make sure there's no other side quests. Nope. Alright. Let's come down here and let's go to the inn where she said we'd find the dude with the sword. you well enough oh you're drunk
Yeah, I don't. I don't think so, homie. Do not think so, home dog. I mean, guys, is it the last door like always? My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. I beg of you. Before you do yourself a mischief. On the intrusion, but. Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? Sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? Oh, no. It's just how his lordship is. All the morning's events have left us. Fractious. He's been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. And I suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. Was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah. Yes, I'm afraid it was. And I'll retrieve Lord Omak's luggage. But I have one condition. You are not to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. Not an audience with Lord Omak. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. The condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have the audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went. I did not, no. Although some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf, mean that I knew where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalam is set to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valkroy. That's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. All right. I mean, that's a start. Also, I can't believe she's still mad. It's like, bro, we paid for it all. Why can't you just... Forgive? Forgive and forget. No matter how deep your friend's pockets are. I'm like, shut up. Fly! I mean, I really didn't want to fight anything out here. Although, if I'm correct, there is a, a hunt out here somewhere. I don't remember... I think it just says the Velcroy Desert. By the way, don't accept a really long video. I did not expect that scene to be so long and poignant. So that's the only reason why I'm doing this. Because it's like, it's this and what? Yeah, make for... Oh yeah, the bomb came. I don't know, we might do the bomb came. Or just might do it off screen like I've been doing all the other hunts. Hard to say. Damn, these guys are pretty damn far away. I will say it is nice how long you can go without potentially even running into monsters. Jump! That was a good jump. I'm not gonna lie. Of course there's a mini boss. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? I really don't want to fight you. Oi! The innkeeper?
Hell yeah, get him. Ravage him. Nope, nope, nope. Just gonna pelt you. We're just gonna lock on. Alright, do, do your swinging. Hell yeah. Nope. Nope. Um, so we've got the kick. Hell yeah. Strike that bitch down. Nope. Nope. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, that gurgle noise, bro. What the fuck? Gurgle noise was disgusting. No, I think after this, I'm just going to end this episode. It's going to be a really short one, but again, I wasn't expecting that cutscene to go long. Oh, that's his, that's his name. His branded name. Oh no. Oh no. Perennial thorn in my side. You can imagine. 
Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Ready? We mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Come in, my lordship. I'll be right there. Oh boy, of course it's our uncle. The same person this bar also hates. Too early. There we go. Black Lord's Blues. Although this one ought to be just like Black Lord's Distractions. Sorry for the wait. Hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about us all then. I did better than that. At least he knows. Said that. I'll see that my debt to use paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. Right? Well. Diamond? Sounds nice. That sounds nice. Let's look into this, uh... This is Excalibur recipe, shall we? Grindstone. So... I need a Grameckian hide and a bomb ember, which I'm guessing are both from hunts. All right, but otherwise I have enough for it on the other ends. Nice. So, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Shorter than normal. Oh, never mind. That's just the hunt thing. So, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Uh, I wasn't expecting this to be so short or to even be... I, would, I was expecting that cutscene to end before my timer ended, but it did not. I wasn't expecting a little Sid spiel at the end. So, uh, with that, maybe on the next episode, my brain will be less rattled and we'll be on uh, onward. You know, make for Bulklad and the Bomb King. 
Right, I'll probably do the Bomb King off screen and then start right as the Bomb King's ended so I can just finish the quest on screen. So yeah, I hope you have a great day. Remember when you can be the best you. Because I'm cutting off my spiel here. My outro. Because that's exactly what I did with the Hippogriff, by the way. I beat the Hippogriff and then started the episode right as the Hippogriff ended. Anyway, I'm done interrupting myself. Hope you have a great day. Or night. Wherever you are. Remember only you can be the best you can possibly. Ta-ta. For now.